Hello, my name is Luca Davis, and I conducted my undergraduate capstone project on investigating hydrothermal vent microbial taxonomy and function using a metagenomic approach. In 1977, the field of oceanography was irrevocably changed. In areas of the ocean far too deep for light to ever reach, and at extremely high temperatures and high pressures, and in anoxic water, there was life. These oases of life in the deep sea are known as hydrothermal vents. Here, geothermally heated water is expelled through the Earth's crust. This water is chemically altered and has high concentrations of reduced chemicals such as hydrogen and hydrogen sulfide. And, in the absence of light, the food chain is supported by chemolithoautotrophs, including those who undergo a process known as methanogenesis. When dealing with an ecosystem like this, there is one overarching question. Why study hydrothermal vents? Ecologically, hydrothermal vent communities exist at the extremes of known life and support expansive, diverse ecosystems hosted by chemosynthetic organisms. This extreme environment has led to an assortment of highly adapted and unique metabolisms. Additionally, this extreme environment has resulted in many diverse microbes that cannot be seen or readily observed in other environments. And by understanding the diversity of these systems, we can better understand the diversity of life on Earth. Additionally, hydrothermal vents are thought as a potential origin location of life on Earth, meaning that the organisms that we observe in these communities are potentially ancient and give incredible insight into the evolutionary significance of life on Earth. Despite this, hydrothermal vents and their associated microbial communities are under study. Metagenomics is a direct sequencing of all microbes in a given area. These sequences must be rearranged like a giant puzzle into a metagenome assembled genome, or a MAG. These MAGs can then be analyzed using algorithms to determine functional identity and taxonomy. This field that includes the processing and analysis of these data is called bioinformatics. The goals of my research are fourfold. One, to sequence cultured microbes, to determine the metabolic pathways, to identify the present taxa, and to investigate methane metabolisms. The Mid Cayman Rise is where we collected our samples from. The Mid Cayman Rise was discovered in 2010 and is an ultra slow spreading center off the coast of Cuba. It hosts two hydrothermal vent fields, the BB vent field and the Von Dam vent field. Currently, it is the deepest known vent system on Earth. The Von Damp vent field and the BB vent field, despite being geographically very close to each other, have very different chemical natures to them. The Von Dam vent field is significantly shallower and cooler than the BB vent field, which is currently the deepest known vent on Earth. Our samples were collected in 2022 from both VB and Von Dam using human occupied vehicle HOV Albin. These samples were taken from multiple sources, including sulfide chimneys, associated fauna, fluids, and sediment. We used these samples to inoculate selective anaerobic enrichment cultures that selected for various methanogens, sulfate reducers, and various heterotrophic microbes. From there, we extracted the DNA and sequenced 21 metagenomes to analyze. Our sequences were obtained using Illumina sequencing. The sequencing data was then aligned and sorted into genomes, which could then be used to determine taxonomy and function of each one of the genomes. Of our 21 metagenomes, only 12 produced viable genomes. These viable genomes were the ones that could be used for further analysis. These include 19 microbial genomes, 14 archaea, and 5 bacteria. Of our 19 genomes, 4 were from methanogens. All of these methanogens had hallmarks of autotrophy, indicating that they are likely the chemolithoautotrophs that support the ecosystem in this area. Taxonomically, when looking at the archaea individually, six of the 14 archaea were potential novel species, including one novel species that was found in two separate cultures. These novel species encompass four separate genera, Geoglobus, Thermococcus, Methanothermococcus, and Methanofiridivirococcus. Looking at our bacteria, we also found three potential novel species across three genera, Caminicella, Colornobacter, and Vibrio. 
Through this research, we were able to discover potential novel species, grow an understudied field, and expand our understanding of hydrothermal vent microbiology. Through this, we can better understand what may have occurred on primordial Earth and understand the origins of life on Earth in general. However, there are limitations to this study. One is that there is an intrinsic bias to using microbial culturing. Most marine microbes are not currently culturable, which means that this does not give us insight into the natural abundance or even the natural diversity of microbes in these hydrothermal vent systems. Additionally, our genomes are metagenome assembled genomes, or MAGs, and not isolated genomes. MAGs have a higher likelihood of contamination or incompletion. However, we do have these samples in culture and can create isolated genomes in the future. Additionally, we only have sampled two vent systems. This summer, we plan on creating microbial metagenomes based off of unadulterated samples that can overcome the limitations of culture-dependent techniques. Also, we will be looking at other vent systems later this summer. We hope to use this insight to better understand microbial communities at hydrothermal vents across the ocean. Thank you for everyone for listening to my presentation.